Hi guys, my name is Mohamad Suzarisha bin Zakaria. I am from Madam's Rosiani class from Wireless Network class. And today we are going to dive deeper into H plane and also E plane. What is H plane? H plane is a horizontal plane in which that it is usually coincide coincide with the horizontal or the azimuth angle. As you can see that this value is actually uh, an azimuth angle an angle which the directions of the uh, radio frequency traverse from the antenna all right either it is west to east and what is e plane e plane is actually an elevate elevation plane which coincide with the vertical or elevation plane all right so uh, as you all uh, as you all know uh, that the h plane this value in the hash planes uh, we call them um, the azimuth angle but in E plane it is called zenith angle a uh, zenith value sorry alright and um, yes you can see that uh, we have this uh, circular ring uh, like this this is actually a radiation pattern diagram Right, in which that it will show you the direction of the radio frequency or, or the signal will traverse uh, on horizontal plane and also elevation plane. Alright, so uh, let me brief you uh, regarding this diagram. This is actually a similar diagram but it is uh, dif it differs in the directions of the uh, signal that traversing around them as well as the value itself is very different than each other alright so what are the outermost region of this um, diagram this circle it this is actually the maximum gain for an antenna as you can see here that this is the maximum gain of an antenna of an antenna okay uh, as you as you all can see that this is a dipole antenna uh, our, um, this is a dipole antenna in which that uh, you can see that if you would like to see more on omnidirectional di uh, antenna or uh, you can see that the uh, radiation pattern will not be like this this is elliptical uh, pattern or uh, or people say that this is a, a loop pattern all right uh, if you want to see the radiation pattern for omnidirectional uh, the you can see that all of the circular ring will be occupied with all of the signal uh, from the omnidirectional antenna imagine that the, the antenna is at the center of this diagram so it will traverse all of the uh, signal will traverse across this diagram all right so uh, today we are going to um, you know like we are going to see into dipole antenna what is a dipole antenna Okay, so this is the real life um, application of dipole antenna. You can see this mostly at the rooftop, above the rooftop of the residential area. Okay, so this is the data sheet of the dipole antenna. Okay, uh, before before we are going deep into the horizontal plane and also elevation plane, I would like to say that the maximum, you know, like the power from the antenna, okay, is actually um, improving the the signal uh, that is uh, transmitted by the antenna itself all right let's say that we have 75 ohm feed line okay you can see that maybe it will uh, traverse across uh, this ring okay the maximum uh, length the maximum distance that it can go might actually be in this range right this is the intensity of the radio signal that exists uh, in the 75 ohm feed line all right let's say that uh, if um, let's say we have uh, more than this let's say we can have like um, 240 volt of um, antenna power it can go um, maximum to the yes the maximum antenna gain which is the zero uh, dbd okay so dbd is the uh, unit f to measure gain the higher the gain the longer that you can cover uh, for the radio signal okay it means that the distance will be covered more longer lah 
alright and um, yes again uh, you can see uh, each of the ring itself has its own attenuation let's say let's uh, view this alright sorry for that let's view this alright okay you can see that if the signal itself um, touches the outermost ring it will have uh, zero gain okay in which that this is the maximum gain that a max uh, that uh, uh, that an antenna can get all right while if you are if, if the signal drops to this uh, yes to this ring it will definitely decreases by 10 dBd all right and the, the maximum yes the total loss of the <laughs> of the antenna will be the 60 dvd or maybe 50 dvd negative 50 dvd the more uh, value uh, that is you know the more value of the the lesser value than zero of the gain okay the higher the probability for the radio wave to be lost to be dissipated maybe by air or maybe by the longer distance whatsoever alright as I said earlier okay this is the radiation pattern that uh, we have on the dipole antenna alright uh, and yeah right now we are currently we are currently dipping our hands into it alright so yes uh, let's try to vanish this alright so enough of that alright so what are this this is the intensity of the radio wave alright we can see that it travels through west and east alright so where is the positions of antenna it exists between the north and south antenna yes the north and south is south is actually the positions of the antenna alright imagine that this is your antenna here right this is your antenna yeah, this is your antenna all right and this is where this is where your radio frequency will go your radio signal will go all right to the west and to the to the east all right and um okay so this uh, what are this this is the azimuth angle in which that the uh, radio signal will go 90 degree to the east or maybe uh, 67.5 uh, to the east uh, northeast and uh, you can see a lot of things a lot of applications in this it will be very uh, applicable uh, very technical uh, in the real life but for the sake of argument for the sake of um, knowing how antennas work we are going to leave it as that All right so moving forward to e-plane okay e-plane is the elevation plane like I said earlier it coincide with the vertical or elevation of the plane itself alright let me brief you with the concept of antenna first okay the the uh, ideal um, you know the ideal proposition for an antenna is the higher the gain the, the closer the uh, value of the gain to 0 dBd okay the you know like the powerful the antenna can get right the uh, you can reduce the loss of the signal so it can be beneficial for all of you so we can consider the maximum transmitter power like I said earlier uh, the more the voltage that can be supplied to the antenna the better your uh, antenna will be and then we have the uh, receiver sensitivity some of the antenna they might have the functionalities of both transmitting and receiving functionalities so we might consider that to be our antenna in the first place and then we have the line of sight the obstructions of line of sight let's say that we have some obstructions along the way to the receiving part you know, we, we can you know like maybe change the directions of of our antenna or maybe we can eliminate the obstructions that uh, obfuscate the line of line of sight sorry and then um, yes the higher the gain the longer the distance it can cover all right so uh, going to the e-plane okay it is actually uh, <laughs> mirrored uh, something like this yes it is actually mirrored something like this but no antenna will go downwards okay because it 
actually it is very impractical no other person will want to have a signal that is dissipated above the ground because if we are going to uh, have a signal down here it will be very very imp impractical because there's not there's not a person who wanted to listen to yes the, the signal will dissipate to the ground and it will it will be a waste of resources in the first place all right so um the antenna itself must have must be placed higher above the ground okay let's say that this is the um, let, let me show an a wikipedia page here all right all right let's say that the uh, antenna itself um the design it is uh, the design of the antenna is like this yes you need to consider the what it what are the you know what are the practicality for antenna for the the radio wave of the antenna to traverse below this all right so we must place the antenna above the ground more uh, to to allow them to traverse uh, more to the air all right so um yeah like i said earlier let's try to make this visible all right like i said earlier if uh, the signal itself can uh, be can be placed above uh, all else uh, such as the rooftop ab uh, above the rooftop or whatever or or the place that is that has the higher latitude uh, you you can definitely uh make your antenna to be more responsive and can transmit all of the data without any obstructions at all all right so uh you don't want to place your antenna uh downwards because it will definitely decrease your <laughs> decrease your elliptical uh radio pattern such as this okay we don't want to have uh lesser gain than zero right we don't want that okay because it will definitely uh, please please uh put your antenna as high as possible all right because we don't want to uh, we don't want to have lesser than zero gain here all right and then uh i think that is all it uh like i said earlier this is the value of the zenith uh, the Yes, the the the, um, the value of ninety is the the maximum of the gain for the e plane. All right, this is uh, the directions of the antenna in which that the radio frequency will go uh, in this intensity. All right, I think that is all to cover for today. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comment section. Or maybe you can just uh, direct PM me or maybe you can ask me in the class uh, thank you for watching thank you madam Rosiani for letting me for allowing me to make this video all right thank you and bye bye